Horror games are a dime a dozen, but few have openings that really unease the player from the outset. To that end, here are 15 of the best games that have scary openings. The Evil Within 2 The Evil Within 2 is easily the best horror game that the studio has put out to date, and it features one of the scariest openings that's sure to remain etched into your memory long after the credits roll. You start out in front of a flaming house, and upon entering you hear the screams of your beloved daughter. As you make your way through the rubble, you encounter Lily, who's enveloped in flames. She comes close and chokes you to death, wakes Sebastian up from this horrible nightmare, and kickstarts the narrative. Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain This might not be the first game to come to mind when talking about horrifying openings, but it definitely deserves a place on this list. Venom Snake opens up from a long coma to find that one of his arms has been severed, and after being administered some medicine to calm his nerves, he wakes up again to see the doctor and the nurse getting murdered by an assassin. Thanks to some help from a buddy, Snake is able to save himself and finds an opportunity to crawl through the hospital to just barely get to safety. Dead Space 2 Dead Space 2 picks up right after the events of the first game, and we see our protagonist Isaac Clarke being questioned about his mental issues, all while visions of Nicole keep haunting him in the background. Soon, these visions start to intensify at a rapid pace, just before Franco finds him lying alone in a space station. Just as Clarke regains consciousness, Franco gets ripped apart to shreds by a necromorph, which is obviously a terrifying sight that sets the perfect tone for the scares and horrors that are going to follow. Song of Horror Protocol Games Song of Horror might not be as instantly recognizable as other classics on this list, but it is certainly a good horror game that fans of the genre should definitely check out. You start out by investigating a missing author's house, which is an abandoned shack filled with cracked artifacts and other weird stuff. Much like any good horror game, Song of Horror tries to unsettle you on playing on your fear of the unknown during this section, but afterwards, you'll get to meet all sorts of spirits and stuff to give a good scream. Forbidden Siren Forbidden Siren doesn't waste much time setting up its story. It starts off with the protagonist investigating a cultist ritual that somehow leads to him being chased by a police officer who has blood coming out of his eyes. It throws you right into the deep end and you must take all the available puzzle pieces into consideration and chart a path to safety as soon as possible. Resident Evil 3 Remake Listen, you gotta get out of there! What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now! All right, let me grab mine. Resident Evil 3 Remake opens up with news coverage of a virus outbreak which has led to a citywide quarantine, following which we are greeted with our protagonist Jill Valentine. After having some horrifying nightmares, she comes face to face with a huge monster, and you must escape from its clutches if you wish to survive. It wastes little time to settle you into the experience, which is quite different from other entries in the franchise, though it's no less effective. Silent Hill 4 The Room
Silent Hill 4 The Room might not be the best game of the bunch, but the opening is certainly one of the most memorable and most terrifying of the series. You wake up inside your apartment, but this time, everything is covered in blood and you find weird notes and pictures scattered all across the house. Being trapped in a place that's so familiar yet so horrifying is certainly unsettling and unnerving, and Silent Hill 4 uses that to establish the tone of the game. Bloodborne You need only unravel its mystery. But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy, with a bit of yarn and blood of your own. But first, you'll need a contract. In so many ways, Bloodborne is like a love letter to the works of H.P. Lovecraft, and the narrative opens on a horrifying note that's sure to send chills down your spine. Your hunter enters into a blood contact with Garamin, following which you wake up in a dark bed in Yosefka's clinic. Opening up your eyes, you see a fierce werewolf up close with blood dripping from its mouth. Once you gain consciousness, you're put up against a battle with that very werewolf, and that too without any weapons. While that's a fight you're meant to lose, it's a scary opening nevertheless. Resident Evil 1 Remake Resident Evil is a masterclass in survival horror game design, and while the story might not be the best of the bunch, it's a compelling ride that takes you through all kinds of scares. The game opens up with Jill and friends investigating something in a dark forest, and after coming face to face with mutated hounds, the team frantically runs towards the mansion where greater horrors await. Granted it's not the scariest opening, but the excellent atmosphere can easily unnerve anyone. Resident Evil 7 Biohazard Resident Evil 7 Biohazard opens up with a distress call from Mia that sets up our protagonist Ethan Winters on a quest to save her from whatever horrors may have trapped her. You make your way to a seemingly abandoned baker house, which requires you to go through a forest of sorts. While you don't find any cosmetic horrors outright, the game does a great job with its spooky atmosphere and scares that can easily make anyone uneasy. Soma <laughs> Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you alright? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah. Fictional games' excellent horror game Soma starts out on an interesting note, with the protagonist just going about it in his apartment as he prepares for an appointment with the doctor. But it is after that portion that Soma brings out the horror, when you awaken inside an unknown facility after getting unconscious during the aforementioned test. There's literally nothing that you know about this world and how to get back to it, and that prospect alone can really get under your nerves in moments unnoticed. Little Nightmares 2 Much like the first game, Little Nightmares 2 doesn't rely on gargantuan monsters or spirits to scare the player outright, but instead makes smart use of its atmosphere and the inherent fear of silence to give the brain just the hint it needs to understand that something is definitely not right. You wake up in a forest, and while there's nothing to oppose you, things like a flickering TV, claustrophobic passages, and hanging bodies do most of the heavy lifting for setting a horrifying tone for this adventure. Eternal Darkness – Sanity's Requiem Eternal Darkness – Sanity's Requiem opens up with seemingly random visual images of things before we are introduced to the protagonist, and players are thrust right into the deep end as they must clear a room full of zombies by shooting them with a shotgun. While it can be a bit jarring in gameplay terms, it's certainly an effective way of shooting a player's attention level right at the very start. And then of course, Sanity's Requiem has a lot of things to scare you with afterwards as well. Fatal Frame, Crimson Butterflies. No, stop! Wait! Mayu! <laughs> 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 
Fatal Frame Crimson Butterflies is easily one of the better entries in the horror franchise, and the same applies to the opening, which is one of the best unsettling ones that the series has seen to date. We see our protagonist Mio and Mayu finding their way to an abandoned village after following a butterfly, and as they explore deeper, Mayu gets enchanted by a mystic spell and the two get separated. A multitude of factors ranging from the appropriate music to the excellent atmosphere really sells the feeling of something going wrong. And that's what precisely happens as the story progresses. The Quarry Excuse me. Ma'am. I can take care of myself. You okay? Supermassive has established itself as one of the best names when it comes to narrative-driven horror games, and The Quarry is one of their best works to date. The game opens up with Laura and Max driving at night through the woods, and in the absence of any mobile networks and navigation aid, they're clearly lost. Suddenly, their car swerves across the road and they crash into the forest. Laura gets separated from Max, and you must make your way back to him. But not before the game unsettles you with scares and teases that set the perfect tone for the adventures that's to follow. Hey, did you know that we at Gaming Bolt upload new videos every day? Stick around, drop a like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Let us know what kind of content you'd like to see in the future with a comment below.